Amid everything happening in response to the Paris attacks on Friday, a flight in the U.S. was evacuated just yesterday. Now, the crew on the American Airlines flight from Washington, D.C. to Boston were suspicious of two individuals who were on board that flight. So the airport's authority police did a sweep of the plane, and those two individuals were questioned and released. The flight did continue without incident, and the two suspects were accommodated on a later flight. No word on why the crew felt that they were suspicious, but with this this being said, we have Ken Jenkins, who is an aviation crisis consultant. And uh, Ken, we have a lot of questions for you as we go into now what happened on Friday with the Paris attacks and our own security at our airports across the country as we head into the busy holiday uh, season. We're going to expect some beefed up security. Good afternoon, Betsy. Yes, you can expect beefed up security. As a matter of fact, in airports across the United States, we're starting to see enhanced security measures um, that have taken effect over the weekend. How about the effectiveness of the security measures that we have had in the last few years? I know that there have been some security breaches we've done in the news, and people are questioning how secure our airports are anyway. And in light of what happened Friday, where, what are your thoughts on, on where things are going to be? Well, I think the best way for me to answer that question, there are a number of ways that I could approach it. One is I still feel very comfortable flying, and, uh, and, and I work aviation disaster response for a living. Um, I'm comfortable getting on a plane and going through the security measures. With that said, it is troubling that there are times where uh, there are lapses. I mean, recently, and I believe it was yesterday, there was an instance where a gentleman flew on Southwest Airlines, and when he got to his destination, he unpacked his bag and realized his carry-on, that he had a uh, firearm in his bag, and he made it through security. Mm. And that happens on occasion where people forget that they have a firearm packed, but in 99% of the, the cases, uh, TSA finds it. In this particular case, they didn't. And those kinds of things, there's just no room for error on those those types of situations absolutely and we do have homeland security officials who have brought that up but there are breaches there are um, cracks in the system so we've already had so many people saying that airport security measures are tedious sometimes demeaning so do our current screenings keep us safe in light of what you just said well i believe overall they do keep us safe and if you look at the number of flights and, and takeoffs and landings every day within the United States, the number of breaches pale in comparison to the number of um, uh, instances that people are going through security and then coupled with the numbers of takeoffs and landings, they're very small. Um, at the same time, it's not just that breach um, that we need to be worried about. There are other areas that we also need to look at, such as what you just mentioned with your lead-in story, the crew with American Airlines. And crews since, uh, crews, airline crews since 2001 in the September 11th events are trained in uh, aspects of behavioral uh, response and looking at certain, and looking at individuals and determining if there's something to be suspicious of. And then flight attendants will take that information to the cockpit. The cockpit will make a determination as to whether or not the plane's gonna go on or in, air interrupt and land. So you have airport security, airline security, uh, information from Department of State on websites that say whether or not you should go to a particular location or not. There are a number of things that we have in the arsenal, if you will, that keeps us safe. It's not just the air, airport security, there are other measures as well. Well, we just uh, received some information this morning that ISIS terrorists made a direct threat toward Washington, D.C. I would hope that um, our own Homeland Security officials, maybe you can even shed a little bit of light on uh, making passengers feel more comfortable. Because after 9-11, when people stopped using um, you know, airports as their mode of transportation, that really crippled the airline industry as a whole. Uh, we, we want people to feel safe, but really, I ask the question, are we? Well, and, and it's, it's a good question to ask, and I think we should ask ourselves that question every day. Um, and because and, it keeps us uh, hopefully hyper vigilant about making sure our systems and processes work. Okay, and uh, reading this article, you were quoted as saying, for anybody who is flying this Thanksgiving or holiday season, pack a lot of patience. 
That is correct. <laughs> Patience is going to be um, it's going to be a must. I think we'll see longer lines yeah. and certainly a little more scrutiny as as bags are checked uh, going through TSA. Ken Jenkins, our aviation crisis consultant, I appreciate your time and your insight on all of this. You're welcome, Betsy. Nice talking with you.